Hello, everyone. I'm Jim Colt from Hypertherm Incorporated, uh, and uh, we're here on the campus of Harper College in Palatine, Illinois, in their metal fabricating lab. And we're here to talk about plasma cutting, kind of in general. Uh, I think one of the first topics that we want to talk about is uh, is a little. This is a, a what I call an entry level CNC plasma cutting table. It's a four by four size plasma torch mounted on the table. Uh, the cutting bed slats. This is a piece of metal that can be cut on the table. Uh, there's a variety of different manufacturers of these uh, these types of tables. Uh, uh, I think two dozen of them in in the United States alone, uh, and they all can kind of do the same thing. Uh, they they're generally used for hobbyist applications, small welding shop applications. Uh, not generally used, uh, you won't find them in a John Deere or a Caterpillar plant. There you're gonna see large industrial plasma cutting ap operations. But what I'm gonna talk about with this one are the, the different ways to control the fumes. When you are plasma cutting, you create quite a bit of smoke and molten metal. Uh, a lot of that will drop on a table like this with no fume control, will drop down underneath it on the floor. And the lighter weight particles, the small particles that are hot uh, generally tend to be lighter than air, so they're going to rise up in the air as smoke. So here they use, they'll use their fume control hood that they use for welding. They'll just kind of post it up above the machine and get most of the smoke out of the area. Uh, but there are better ways to handle uh, fume control with these tables. And the, the two most common ones are called water table use, and that's when you have a water tray that actually hangs underneath the table, just a few inches under the slats, and you can actually fill uh, with water right to the top of the slats in the table. Uh, water tables work really well for fume control, uh, and what, what actually happens is the, the effluent or the, the flow of molten metal that comes out from the plasma cutting operation blows the hot metal down into the water where it cools immediately, becomes lighter than air, and just sinks down into the water table. You do have to clean it out after a period of time. Some of the drawbacks for a water table cutting operation are the fact that water splashes on the cut, it roughens up the cut edge a little bit, produces a little bit more re-solidified metal, and then last but not least, it does. the water will splash up onto the moving parts of the machine, which can affect the longevity of the machine and uh, maintenance of the machine, things like that. So water tables do work pretty good. Downdraft table uh, would, would be uh, still the same table, but instead of having a water tray underneath it, it's going to be uh, the sides generally are skirted in with sheet metal. Uh, around the sides of it. And then you can take your welding uh, fume control hood and uh, basically stick it to a hole in the side of the closed in base of the machine. And that's just gonna, all the heavy particles will sit on the floor underneath. You can clean it out periodically. The light particles get pulled out through the fume control hood. Uh, I kind of prefer downdraft tables because uh, water doesn't get on the cut edge, you get better cut quality. I'm a plasma torch guy myself, and you also don't get the water on the table. But the downdrafts with uh, the, the drawbacks with a downdraft table are more of the fact if you're in a small shop, say you're in a garage here in Illinois in February, it's cold outside, right? Uh, you, your fume control system is pulling heat out of your building and blowing it outside, so you're kind of, you've got to make that heat up. So it, it, it can be a heat waster for you. Uh, things like that. Uh, in my home shop, uh, I use a, a, a blower, a fan, and I just blow it outside, but I'm in the middle of seven acres. I don't bother my neighbor, neighbors with a little bit of smoke on the outside of the building. So um, those are really the three types of fume control, just letting the fumes rise up off the table and blowing it away with a fan, uh, downdraft water ta uh, a water table where water traps the fumes, and a downdraft table where you're pulling the fumes out the bottom of the table. Uh, one thing I do caution people against, uh, it, because you see the fumes rise up out of your CNC cutting table, uh, you, everybody kind of says, well, why don't I just build a hood over the top of it, and I'll pull that smoke up easily off the top. Well, the problem with that is when you, when you allow the smoke to rise up, it moves across all the mechanical moving parts of the machine. And those, those are little tiny particles of the metal you're cutting. They're going to eventually grind up your bearing surfaces and, and loosen up your machine over time. So really cool little product, 4x4 four four CNC cutting tables. They're available. Uh, I've got one in my home shop. There's a lot of hobbyists that do. Uh, but we've got to take care of the fumes, and we'd be more than happy to help you with that.